So I entered him through fear, doubt and complaining. Why complaining? My friends are working, my college mates have found side hustle jobs, but me, I'm just on the same page. I can't believe it, it's December, and we are now going into 2024, but I, I haven't even achieved anything, it's all the same, just like last year, it's like it has repeated itself. You're right. Nothing has changed. Everything I planned last year. I was hoping to achieve them this year. But it's like. This year also ended up into not being fair. What can we do? I also need a job. I'm 28 years old. And I'm still living in my parents' house. When I promised them. That I will be independent before this year ends. You're lucky. I'm 25. Without a job. My girlfriend is working. But I doubt if she can wait for me. Because I keep on delaying our wedding. She wants to marry me. But I'm not ready. You and your girlfriend. Can't you just marry her, already? So you don't trust her. That if she can take care of you. Stress. I don't want her to be stressed. I'm sure this coming year. I will manage. Trust me. Are you ready? Yes I am. You don't look okay. What is wrong with you? It's just that, we are entering new year. And, I haven't achieved my goals. What can I do, when all years end up the same? What's bothering you much? I wanted to get married this year. That's nothing to worry about. Just prepare financially, and pray to God, all is well. Thank you. What are you doing here? I miss you. I traveled all the way from Humpem Tom City. Just to see you. Oh baby. I'm so sorry. I know. I know we should have got married this year. But I'm not financially stable. I don't have anything to give your parents. If only I had a farm. I would give them a cow. <laughs> hey, relax. Next year, we will do our best. Thank you. For understanding. It's 28th, and I have nothing. What kind of nonsense is this? I'm fade off. I quit. I can't do this anymore. It doesn't work. I can't save, I can't date, I'm still in my parents' house. I'm turning 29 next month, and I can't buy myself a pair of slippers. My friends are working, my college mates have found side hustle jobs, but me, I'm just on the same page. Nothing works. I quit, I can't even buy a souche of water. This is so embarrassing. Mummy? Yes, dear. I want to tell you something. Go ahead, I'm all ears. It's just that. I wish to get married. But I'm not getting a job. I am a graduate. And see. My girlfriend. She is now working. I am so impatient. Mummy? Mummy help me. I am so anxious to be stable. I love her so much. I don't want to lose her. How old are you? I'm 25. And your girlfriend? She's 23? You're so funny. Do you know when I got married? No. June 12, 1995, when I was just 31 years old, and your dad was 33 years old. Wow, mom. That was old age. However, you managed to have us. Me and my elder siblings on time. It's not about that. It's just time. See, everyone has his own time, his own page. Your girlfriend may start working now. It's her time. And you. Your time will come. It just depends on how committed and serious you are. Just pray and try everything. Put God first. Stop thinking too much about your girlfriend. It will help you be in a comfortable position. That even if she will ever leave you alone. And go marry someone else. You will be okay. Because you are with Christ. That's just how it has become. But I'm not saying she will leave you. What I'm saying is. In Christ. There is patience. Self-control and humility. God takes care of people. He can't put you in this world without giving you a job, 
talent, skill or employment. Look at the birds. Do they worry about how they will live? Why do we worry? So trust in Jesus Christ. Everything will be okay. Put him first. And pray for your spouse. Pray for her. She also needs the Holy Spirit. Galatians 5 verse 22. Wow mom. That's awesome. You're right. I keep focusing too much on her. I think it's best I focus on my destiny and finances. The right time shall come. Thank you Jesus. Apostle good morning. How are you my dear? I'm not fine. Daddy, I'm tired. I never achieve anything. Every year ends up the same. I work hard. But why? Why don't I not succeed? What's happening Apostle? Tell me. There is something behind it. Let's take it to the Lord in prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Who are you? Ah. You idiot. You speaking. Who are you? I am spirit of failure. What is your mission? I make him become lazy and doubtful. Whenever he starts to do something. I give him doubt and discouragement. I see he wants to be a freelancer. I hold on to his destiny so that all his work and skills won't be seen by people. He will have few customers. And you, who are you idiot? Stop that nonsense. Now speak. How do you manage? Explain everything. He doesn't pray, so I entered him through fear, doubt and complaining. Why complaining? Because, he doesn't have faith in what he does. And so I become a barrier to his blessings. Nothing moves. He has no patience, so I made him love money. So that he gets anxiety of prosperity. He doesn't accept the trials he's going through. I will finish him, I will kill him. And you, who are you, to ask me questions? Come out, time to leave, out, out, out. In Jesus' name, how are you, my son? I am doing fine apostle. Wow, I feel relieved. Thank you Jesus. Go and sin no more. Remember, Proverbs 10 verse 22. It is God's blessing that makes people wealthy. It's not just your hard work. Even if you spend you will grow. But the wicked will save, and yet still get broke. So don't create barriers in your life. No matter what you go through. Trust the process and put Jesus first. Make a relationship with him. Focus on him and not your misery or your situation. Jesus loves you. Two years later. Baby. How are you? I'm fine dear. I miss your friend, long time. How is it going? I finally got a job. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. That's God's time for you. Thank you Jesus. So. So how about you? How have you decided your life? Right about now? Well, have been waiting for someone, have been praying, have been interceding, have been enjoying every life I live, and you. What have you decided to do next? Baby. I. I call you baby. Not for casual. I call you baby. Because I love you. Samir. I loved you since the beginning. So if you are ready. And free. I would love you too. Will you marry me? Of course, it's you. That have been waiting for. Have been praying for this day. Thank you Jesus. I do. I will marry you. Wow. Yes. Yes. If I was there. I would bring you flowers. And a hug. And a kiss. And some present. Oh. And I bought a cow for your parents. <laughs> so you see, Proverbs 10 verse 22, God blesses, to make your hard work a success, trust the process, and be patient. God's time is never a delay, just make a relationship with God, and you will testify one day. Watch and pray, Emmanuel, Happy, New Year.